And joining me now from the International Affairs Desk is Catherine Norris-Trent. Uh, this is certainly a controversial visit, isn't it, uh, Catherine, especially when you listen to what he just had to say then? Absolutely. That was back in March 2017, Annette there, Red Tip Type Erdogan, saying, accusing the Germans of having Nazi practices because at the time they banned a few rallies in the lead-up to that referendum in Turkey on changes to the constitution, which gave... Erdogan sweeping new powers, and that was his reaction back then. Now, fast forward a year and a half, and he's in Germany trying to repair battered relations uh, relationships. And it is a highly controversial visit, because not only do you have those remarks, um, but there are a lot of critics in Germany about Erdogan's increasingly autocratic style, his critics say, that a purge of activists, dissidents, journalists in prison. To date, there are still five German nationals in jail inside Turkey. So the pictures of him there uh, receiving full military honours, being welcomed by the German president, Frank Walter Steinmeier, at Belvoir Castle, the uh, presidential residents are very controversial. There's already been a few demonstrations, anti-Erdogan demonstrations in Germany. And uh, uh, on Friday, uh, sorry, on Saturday rather, when uh, Erdogan is due to inaugurate a mosque in the German city of Cologne, demonstrators are hoping to get tens of thousands of people out on the streets. Now, of course, at the end of the day, both countries still need one another, which is why we have these, this visit actually happening. Absolutely. This is all about real politik. Uh, Erdogan is turning back towards Germany, back towards Europe, because the Turkish economy is in dire straits. The currency crisis has seen the value of the Turkish lira fall by around 40 per cent this year. So he's really hoping to get some economic deals here on this visit, uh, visit, perhaps a revamp of the customs union between Germany and Turkey. Now, whether he'll get that is questionable, but he's starting that conversation. Uh, you've also got the Turks a bit distanced from the US at the moment, several diplomatic crises there. So he's looking back towards Europe to try and rebuild alliances. And on the German side, what do they need from Turkey? Well, they need Erdogan's help on refugees, on migrants. Remember back in 2015, a huge wave of migrants coming into Europe saw more than a million arrive in Germany, which has proved to be very politically damaging for Angela Merkel herself. So she needs this deal, which was put in place by the EU and Turkey, to stand, which sees Turkey basically act as a buffer zone between migrants from the Middle East coming into Europe. So these countries need each other, even though the circumstances are highly controversial. Thank you for that, uh, Catherine.